Hello guys and welcome to the third episode. In this episode, we are going to design our web page in which we will put some buttons so that we can control LEDs through that button. So this was the web page which we have designed in our second episode. So let's edit this thing and put some buttons into it. If you haven't watched my second video, please go back and watch it. Uh, so let's add some buttons. This input type submit is for buttons and we'll name it let's say let's say we want to control LED1 so L button 1 so we'll name it LED1 and we'll put a value let's say on so let's save this file and run this in Chrome. So this is the button which we have created. Now in the same manner we will create few more buttons. I will just copy this. This now I will rename this to LED2 and LED3 and I will add a string here is for bold output one in the same way output two sorry output three so let's save it and let's see what happens so we have just created these three buttons uh, in the same manner these buttons are basically for the on now in the same manner we will create few buttons for off so it's simple copy this and uh, let's put here and we'll rename this to off and let me change this name to LED one zero. Let's say in the same manner, I'll copy this one. And rename this So let's save it and let's check out. Okay, so we have output one on, output one off, output two on, output two off, and output three on, output four off. Okay. Now let's make it more readable by adding few things here. Let's save it. Let's check. Okay, so now it's more. It's looking good. So, so this is the simple web page which we have designed and placed few buttons over it. Now let's open our MPLAB X and do some programming for this thing. So, as you can see, we have defined three buttons for 
value on and three buttons for value off and the names are led1 led10 and same for the led2 and led3 so these names will be used during the programming part so before starting the programming part let's talk about post and get request post request is done whenever we want to post some data to the website but get request is done when we are fetching some data from the website and in our case we are using some buttons and when we press that button the led should be on so that means we are getting some values from the website into our system so we will use we will use the get function here so for this we have to add a few lines here this line will tell that we are trying to get some values from our website and this action will contain the name of this web, this file so the name of this file is index.html okay so here we have done with this file uh, but let's do one thing let's make two files i mean to say two web pages for our website we'll call first page as a welcome page then after clicking some buttons on that web page this web page will be called so this will be our second web page so let's do one thing let's make another web page so let's make a new file this web page will only contain a welcome message So now, if anyone presses the next button, he will be directed to the this web page where he can control LEDs through button. So let's save this file as a index.htm because this will be our first file. So this index.htm will be our first file and this this will be our second file. So I'll rename this file to the some other name like light.html. Currently this is our first file. I'll rename this to let's say light.htm and this index this index file is our first file so i'll copy this file and paste this in web pages to folder okay okay so now we have two files one file is index file and another is light file let's open this index file 
this is just a simple file containing welcome message and if someone presses this next he will be redirected to the light.html file uh, looks like we have to make some changes in our light.html file uh, let's go and copy its location we will have to add the full location path in index.htm save it and now let's launch it so this is our first page index.htm if someone clicks this next button he will be redirected to the second page where he can control LEDs through buttons uh, looks like we have to edit something here in light.html also yep we have to change this name because we have changed the uh, name of this file to light.htm so we have to put this light.htm here let's save this and now let's open this index.htm file ok so this is our first file clicking on the next button will be here and if i press this corresponding leds will turn on and off so now we are done with the designing the web pages we have two files index file and one is light file so now we will do some programming part so first we will run this windows batch file which will convert our web pages to mpfs ok so now let's open mplab x and as we discussed we are get, we are uh, as we discussed we are making a get request here we are making a get request here so we have to include all our coding in http execute get function so you can see here there is a variable name file name this variable contains the file name corresponding file name for example we have here light.html so this light.html will be contained in this file name variable so this mpfs get file name function is used to extract the file name and this saves the file name name of your file into this variable so now we have to search whether this file name contains the name of our file or not so we will do if now the name of our file light.htm and the number of characters as light.htm is 9 characters so 9 now after this we will define a pointer which will point to the location of our data all the data in our file is saved in cur http dot data so we will extract that extract all the details from that data Now, as we have defined LED1 as our name to the first button and LED10 name for our first button for off button. So, we will use these names here in the programming part. So, I will write LED1 and if we have extracted the LED1, then what we have to do is we will blink our first LED which is connected to the D0 pin equals to 1 in the same way if we get LED 1 0 that means we have to turn off LED 1 0 is for off button so we will turn off the first LED I will just copy this thing
and paste here LED one zero and if this then turn off the LED. So we have to do the same thing for our button one for our sorry for button two and button three. So I'll just copy this thing, copy this whole thing. Uh, let me just make you change. So I'll copy this complete thing and paste it here. So this was for button one. Now this LED two is for button two. LED two zero is for button off. In the same way. LED three and LED three zero. So, what will happen? This will extract the light dot HTML file, and this will pointer will locate to the pointer will locate to the LED one. And if this is true, then LED one will turn on, and if LED one zero is true, then LED One will turn off in the same way. If LED two, then LED two will turn on, and in the same way, LED two here LED three. Three. So now we are done with this programming part. We have to make a little change in main demo dot c file. Here you can see in while one there is a function if pick get Then LED D0 I/O will toggle, so we'll disable all these things so that we can easily use the first LED for our function. Let's save this and let's build the program. So we have built our program successfully. Now let's program the device. so programming has been done let's open the tcp ip discoverer ip address 141.200 so this is our first page i'll click the next button okay now here is the second page if i click on the output one on button first led will or turn on If I click on the output to on button, second LED will turn on, and in the same way, third LED will turn on. So our LEDs are working fine. So we have just made our first web page. So you can design many more web pages through this, and this is very simple. You just have to make some changes in custom HTTP app dot c and do some programming for this thing. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, comment and subscribe. and share your views with us thank you